The one which you saw over there in Karnak, there is one is a complete one and the mm -hmm. other one was broken. Mm -hmm. So both of them was cut from here mm -hmm. after they didn't to complete this one. Okay, okay. But one And once Kenya, Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda, okay. and the Nile will come from this part we call it the White Nile or the White River. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hope you all must be doing absolutely fine. Swagat hai aap logon ka is channel mein. My Travel Tales. The unfinished obelisk ticket price visitor 80 EGP student 40 EGP. If the stone here is uh, so big in size, that's why they got the obelisk here or what? Yes. But the main question is from how they took it from here. We will see now. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is red granite. First of all, here we will talk about three important points. Mm -hmm. Number one, why the ancient Egyptian decal the office. Right. Number two, how they did it. Number three, the obelisk itself. Why the ancient Egyptian they cut the obelisk? You visit Luxor. Did you see any obelisks yeah, over there? Karnak. Good, Karnak. And of course, the Luxor Temple yes, too. So, do you remember why they cut the obelisk? What the symbol of the obelisk? Near to God. Exactly. So the obelisk, it's a symbol of the God. It's something to make you remember like a finger raising in front leading to the sky mm -hmm. where is the goddess mm -hmm. to showing that the god is observing everyone to remember the god he watching protecting you he observing you it's like a ray connect between the earth and the sky or between the human and the god mm -hmm. the opposite have four sides Mm -hmm. Preparing for the four main directions, north, south, east, and west, mm -hmm. which is meaning that God is everywhere. Yes. The top of the obelisk is mm -hmm. a pyramid shape, yeah. so this is the present or the symbol of the eternity. Okay. Point number two how the Egyptian they cut the obelisk. We have several methods or ways, but the one which is in front of us here, they'll be coming to this area. Mm -hmm. or to the square in general yeah. and they will just drawing the piece what they want in the wall in the ground mm -hmm. if they want it offering table mm -hmm. if they want squares or bigger mm -hmm. obelisk shape mm -hmm. or whatever the shape which they want first they're drawing it on the, wall, mm -hmm. on the ground mm -hmm. then they make deep holes like the one which is in front of us mm -hmm. okay. and this deep hole by a harder stone it's called the white stone mm -hmm. and after that they will fill these holes with the sycamore wood the wood yes which will expand after we put in the water exactly and then right. they add water so the wood will mm -hmm. expand mm -hmm. and cracks will happen from weakest point to the second from the second to the third mm -hmm. until you got the shape what they want of right. course the shape here is an office mm -hmm. of course the cracks is not perfect it's just mm -hmm. cracks mm -hmm. so then they're using sandstone mm -hmm. for polishing 
and just to smooth the faces of the facades and after that preparing for carving or for digging the hieroglyphic on it. Mm -hmm. Direct in front of us, this is the obelisk, which is in here, not complete, or we call it the unfinished. Why? Because it was broken when they tried to lift it or to shift oh, it from here to okay. outside. Oh. Okay? We will just move to the other side and we will complete our blending over there. Be careful, please, watch it. From here we can feel the shape of the obelisk, how it looked like. It's yeah. almost standing, it's 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. The third point we will talk about it over here, which will be the obelisk itself. Mm -hmm. This obelisk was cut by the one of the most famous and powerful female pharaohs. Yes. Hatshepsut? Hatshepsut, exactly. Oh, okay. Hatshepsut, she ruled, as you remember, or as you know, 1450 BC in the 18th dynasty in the New Kingdom. Mm -hmm. During this time, she wanted to give a gift to the god. Okay. So she decided to cut two huge obelisks and to give them as a gift to the Karnak temple. Right. The problem when the worker, they started to cut it, there is a crack happening in the middle. Mm. So they left it. Why? Because if you want to give a gift for somebody, it's supposed to be a good gift. Of course. What about if you give a gift to the God? Mm -hmm. So this was a very bad, mm -hmm. bad luck for them. But actually, I can say this is for our yeah, good luck. Of course. Why our good luck? Because nowadays, now, this mm -hmm. is an evidence, an example, how the ancient how they Egyptian they do it. Mm -hmm. If the obelisk is in general is completed and it's supposed to be in any of front of other tumbles nowadays, they know that there is some people, they are adopting some kind of theory that the ancient Egyptian, they are not human beings, they are mm -hmm. aliens, aliens so yeah. coming from the space, mm -hmm. and they have laser, they have this kind of technology, mm -hmm. but all of this one is not true. Mm -hmm. And one of the evidence is just direct in front of us, not a complete one broken they tried to do it but they failed mm. so actually the and of course we have more than that but in general this is one of evidence that the ancient egyptian they just work hard and mm. seriously mm. to cut and to build this civilization in the past mm. it's enough to know that to cut a part or to cut this obelisk it took seven months but in general mm -hmm. when they failed to complete this one mm -hmm. they change their mathematician and they started to make another one but the other one is little bit less okay. and the other time or the second time they succeeded to cut both of them mm -hmm. and this is the ones which you already saw before in Karnak Temple. Karnak Temple. The Karnak is it Temple, was from there? This is a harbor. Oh. Yeah, the other oh, okay. one is just next. Uh, uh, from one, somewhere else. Yeah. Maybe. The one which you saw over there in Karnak, there is one is a complete one and the other one was broken. Mm -hmm. So both of them was cut from here after they didn't complete this one. Okay, okay. On one Do you know which place from, from which place? Just next to this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Direct in front of us over here, this is which is supposed to be a harbor in the past. Mm -hmm. In the past, they was waiting uh, the flood to come, mm -hmm. and in general, there was a canal connected between this area or the site the and the Nile. And the Nile, by the way, is not far. They are brown building which is directly in front, this is our hill, yeah. direct on the map. So it's about five or six hundred meters away from here mm. nowadays. Mm. Of course in the past it's much cooler, mm -hmm. plus actually during the flood season the canal will be filled over here mm -hmm. and this is a harbor to allow the boats and you can see how the side of the big boats mm -hmm. and how deep it could be. So this is referring how this mm -hmm. one supposed to be big ones. Mm -hmm. So they can move in the obelisk, offering table, the stages mm -hmm. or any pieces you want to take. And why we say this one is bad luck for them? Because if Hatshepsut succeeded to cut this one, it's supposed to be the biggest one in all over the world. This mm -hmm. one is exactly about 141 feet. Mm -hmm. And it's more than 1,160 ton in white. So, but anyway, they didn't complete it. They started to cut the other one. The other one, which you already saw, is uh, 340 ton. And about 30 meters. 30 meters. Yeah, 30 mm -hmm. meters. Yeah. This is about 40 meters. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what about the stand over here? I will take photo for you. You can observe how it's been big and very wide. Yeah. And even there are more to the other side. <laughs>
in the time mm. over here when we put the cement and the body for the station down here we can see the tunnels of course mm -hmm. which nobody can see it nowadays because all of the stars was covered mm -hmm. The map of the Nile. In general, we have two main resources of the Nile. The first one, which is from Victoria Lake, and Victoria Lake is the second the natural lake. Five countries they share in this lake: African ones, Kenya, Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda, Uganda. Mm -hmm. And the Nile will come from this part. We call it the White Nile or the White River. Then the second the main resource from Lake Tana in Ethiopia, mm -hmm. and we call this part the Blue River. Both of them will be one in Khartoum, the capital of Sudan until passing to Egypt, 6,650 kilometers the length of the Nile. For this, the Nile is considered the second longest Nile or river, sorry, in the, all over the world. Over here, we can see the Suez Canal, which we just talked about. <laughs> and we can see now, this is the border of Egypt. So we can see the Nile is the only resource for the water in Egypt. Mm. The high dam, Lake Nasser, and we can see apart from the lake, it's already in north of Sudan. Mm. This part showing for us the whole location which we visit together. Mm -hmm. So number one, this is a high dam and we are standing above the high dam now. Mm -hmm. Number six, this is the old dam which we just passed and we pass again in our way back. Mm -hmm. Number five, we can see two islands together. One of them is Philae Island which we are going to visit in the end of our tour today. Hello. <laughs> number four, it's collection yeah, number, which is over there. And this temple is moved from the original location. Yesterday, when you visit Abu Simbel, of course, you know yeah, that yeah. all of this area is supposed to be. This temple is this? Kelapsha. It was many temples in the site, and when we decided to fill the dam, mm -hmm. we decided to save some temple which was behind. Mm -hmm. And of course, there was 100,000 Nubians, and we'll talk more about them later or soon, as soon as we go to the Nubian village. Mm -hmm. Moved from the original location to be in front of the dam. Mm -hmm. One of the temples which we decided to move. The last temple over there from 60 kilometers to the south, and we brought it here to protect it. Wow. Yeah. Here, Lake Nasser, or we have a high dam to open, also a high dam. The friendship symbol. That one? It's over there, exactly. Mm. It's over there. This is uh, it's a little flower. Mm -hmm. And this one actually takes the shape of the pose of the symbol for upper region. Mm -hmm. During the time after we built the dam, we want to say thank you to the Soviet Union or the Soviet government right. for helping us. So we built the symbol over there as lotus. And why lotus? Because the lotus was a symbol for upper or south of Egypt. Direct four kilometers, we can see the old dam. Oh, it's very clear. There. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. The distance yeah. in between is about four kilometers. Mm -hmm. To the right side, we can see the power station. Oh, so but of course, we can see the tunnels or the stuff inside because they are under these now. अगर आपको मेरे vlogs पसंद आएं तो videos को like and share करना मत भूलिएगा और मेरे motivation के लिए channel को subscribe जरूर करिएगा ताकि मेरी हौसला अफजाई होती रहे और मैं ऐसे ही ढेरों videos आपके लिए बनाता रहूं. So see you in next. Shukran.